Oh, there's fish. Oh, got him, got him. Nice, that's a little cutthroat. Mm, there he goes, bye-bye. All right, so today I'm out on a little alpine lake and I am using my Hummingbird Helix fish finder and I have right here on this, my transducer is their ice dedicated transducer right here. This is the XI9-1521 and this is one of the hardest transducers to get a hold of this past few years. It's their dedicated ice fishing transducer for the Helix series and uh, it's been almost impossible to find for two years. This is November 2022 and it's still almost impossible to find. So I want to do a quick uh, video today talking about whether or not it's okay to use an open water transducer like the ones here I have fitted for my kayak versus using an ice transducer. Do you really have to have an ice transducer to use your Helix on the ice? So we're going to talk a little bit about the differences between these transducers and then I'm going to put them to real world use. So you just saw that fish come in on this ice transducer. I'm going to go ahead and catch at least another fish on this transducer so you can see it again. Then I'm going to switch over to the open water transducer and we'll see how this works um, on the Helix ice unit. Does it work in ice mode or do you have to use it in open water mode? We'll answer those questions. Okay, let's get the XI9-1521 back in the water. Here you can see I've got a really clear picture. Now, the speed and sensitivity and gain and everything, I have videos on this already. Um, one setting up my Hummingbird Helix, but you can see I've got really nice, clear image here. I'm gonna go ahead and put, I've got a very small jig. That I'm just tipping with a bit of night crawler, and it shows up very well down there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the worm back on. And we'll send this back down there so you can see it. All right, so there it is. It looks like there might be a fish on the bottom down there too. Just came by. Let's see if we can get him to come back. The XI9-1521 retails for about $105 if you can actually find one. And it is a very narrow cone. So it uses a relatively high frequency. The higher the frequency on your transducer, the tighter the cone is. The tighter the cone is, the better it is at resolving small targets, um, especially at depth. And of course, it makes sense to have a tighter cone when you're ice fishing because you're really just concerned about with what's directly underneath you, not very far out to the side. And so the it has a 15 to 21 degree cone at 130 to 250 kilohertz. So it's a chirp transducer. So it, it wavers back and forth between different frequencies to get you the clearest, strongest signal. There's fish. Oh, we missed him. Did you see him? He's still down there though. He's coming up chasing it. Oh, he's gone. Just one little nibble. So we've seen a couple fish come in on this dedicated ice transducer and you can tell that the jig shows up really well. The fish show up very well. It really delivers on what it's designed to do. What about an open water transducer for ice fishing? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna leave the unit in ice fishing mode. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch out to my open water transducer. Now, this one I have on a ram mount's arm because I actually will use this uh, over the side of the rail on my kayak, but I put a ram ball on the base of my shuttle here and that should make it really easy for me to attach and run this transducer down over the hole. This is the hardest part to figure out how to deploy or make some sort of float or arm for your uh, open water transducers because they're not quite designed in the same way that these round transducers are for ice fishing. Okay so what I'll need to do is go ahead and get this installed. And then what I'm going to do is loosen this up and disconnect the ice fishing transducer and plug in the open water transducer real quick here. 
Okay, so as you can see, now I have the open water transducer in there, and you can still see my lure. Uh, I might have to adjust the gain a little bit just to make it show up a little bit better, but it still gives me a very clear image, uh, remarkably, and I am still in the Hummingbird Helix ice fishing mode, so I have all of the same options that I would normally have, and you can see it works just fine as a traditional ice fishing 2D sonar, or if you want to do the flasher setting, it all looks really good. Uh, not a problem, showing up very well. And the reason for that is, is that the transducer capabilities between these two ice fishing transducers really aren't all that different. Obviously, the open water transducer comes with the ability to give you down imaging, side imaging, and such when you're out using it on open water, but the sonar is very similar. So on the dedicated ice fishing sonar, it's a 15 to 21 degree cone, so relatively narrow at 130 to 250 kilohertz, whereas in the open water, it's 150 to 220 kilohertz, so it's a little bit wider cone from 24 to 42 degrees uh, but it still works really well uh, in this situation for ice fishing so don't feel like you have to use a dedicated ice fishing transducer to get a fairly quality image here i'm getting a great uh, return even on that small spoon this is a small cast master let's put a jig down there and see what it looks like Okay, so here's a relatively small jig going down. And you can see it shows up really well, um, especially at five feet and beyond. Oop, there's a fish coming up to it, see it? Oh, he looked at it. There he has got him, nice. Oh, this is a nice, nice brookie. And with this folding arm, I can just move this up out of the way. It's a really nice brookie. There we go. Woo, I'll take that. That's a toad. There you go. Really nice brookie. Take that. Back in the way. Turn around there, bud. I'll get this transducer on back under water there. There we go. Okay, so we really clearly saw that fish come in on the jig. The jig's very easy to see. Even when I'm dropping this jig back down after having it out of the water, there should be a fair bit of ice hung up on the braid. We'll see how sensitive it is to that. You'll see a little bit of noise here. That's the, the braid noise, ice braid noise. But I have a very difficult time differentiating this from what I got with the dedicated ice fishing sonar. So I don't think it's really that important. Let's see how this unit performs in open water setting with the open water transducer because I have it on ice fishing settings right now, just factory settings. And let's see, is down imaging um, all of that uh, useful in this situation? I didn't bring out my side imaging transducer, um, but we'll just see if the imaging and uh, traditional chirp sonar works in the open water setting as well. Or do you really need to have it set into the ice fishing setting? So I'll show you how I do that really quick. Just go to menu twice over here to open water and it'll restart the unit if I press yes. All right, so here we go. It'll restart. Won't have anything here for a sec. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now you see, um, I don't have my settings, the sonar sped up or anything. Let's go and press exit. All right, so there's just traditional sonar. I've got the speed obviously slow here. And it definitely doesn't look as good as when it was in the ice fishing setting. Um, we can change some things here. We can increase the chart speed. That's gonna give me a little faster reaction time when seeing fish. Um, it looks like the auto is really pushing it out further than it normally would with ice fishing. It really zeroes in, so maybe I'll just go ahead and 
manually do that. Okay, that's looking pretty good with a 10 foot bottom. And let's increase the, let's go to a darker color. It doesn't really blow out my eyes so bad. Okay, let's push up the gain a little bit. And we're getting pretty close to what we had before with the ice fishing settings. I mean, it's looking pretty good. It's not as fast, um, I notice, even at the top speed, the chart speed isn't as fast on open water as with the ice fishing settings. But that's still very manageable, very useful. You actually get water temperature here. Um, the ice fishing dedicated uh, transducer does not give you temperature. All it does is it has just chirp. That's it. This will have down imaging because it's down imaging. So let's go see if that's even at all useful. And it is not. I cannot even make out my target. If I crank up the... Nope, I can't see anything. So the down imaging is really pretty useless here. It's really based on movement. That movement helps them generate the, the imaging. So in my opinion, Yes, you can use the open water transducer, but it's better to use it in the ice fishing setting than in the open water setting when ice fishing with the Helix units. All right, so I'm gonna go and flip this back to the ice fishing. There we go, it'll restart. And here it goes, it zeroes in, it's already fast. I really like the ice fishing setting a lot better for using the Helix on the ice, whether I'm using the ice fishing transducer or the open water transducer, it's best to keep it in the ice fishing setting. You can see it's faster. I'm getting a stronger return on that. And I don't know if that's because it's using a narrower cone. I don't know if that's gonna give me that information. It's using a 15 to 21 degree cone angle. And so I can manually change it, but it's, so what it's basically doing is it, if, if this is honest and accurate is it's tightening up the cone angle, even on the open water transducer, which is fine. Uh, they can do that by changing what frequency of kilohertz it's using. And it's giving me a quality image that I'm really happy with. I could fish with this all season long using the open water transducer and I really wouldn't feel like I'm missing out. I feel like it's it's just as capable as their dedicated ice fishing transducer. All right guys, I hope that helps answer your questions about using open water transducers versus dedicated ice fishing transducers here on the ice. Otherwise, I'm going to get back to focusing on fishing and I'll see you next time out on the water and just remember, fish smarter, not harder. Bye guys.